I have a system for predicting earthquakes, Gregory. Oh, what is it? I take a nickel and I stand it on its end right by the end of the table. And if it falls over, you better duck. Why would, what would ducking do? I don't know, because then the things won't fall on you, I guess. I haven't been in one yet. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But one time the nickel fell over and I got under the table. But then I realized my uncle had just knocked it off. And he went, what, why are you down there, Teddy? Get over here. Okay. He fooled me. Your uncle? <laughs> yes. My Uncle Paul fooled me. <laughs> he fooled I thought you. there was an earthquake. He said, quick, breathe through this. <laughs> 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 My mother was picking a meatloaf up off the floor. Her lover had gotten angry and thrown it at her. A full meatloaf. Did she deserve it? I don't know. She was just talking about bad burgers. And her lover said, bitch, because he was an African-American gentleman. Oh, okay. He said, bitch, shut up about motherfucking bad burgers. And he threw a meatloaf at her. <laughs> bad burgers. <laughs> The meatloaf slammed into the side of her head and gave her stitches. She had to get stitches. She had to get stitches. I was just terrorized. I said, "Oh, mother, be careful!" I thought the earthquake got her. I'm like meatloafs are falling from the sky. There's black feet by my face. Why are there African American tootsies by my face? <laughs> Uh, oh, I forgot your special friend is over. <laughs> My mother and I lay there on the floor for hours waiting for the tsunami. Did it ever come? I thought it? it did, but apparently her lover had thrown his wine at her. <laughs> but I thought the tsunami had come. It's just wine thrown at her. It was face. just wine. Because I was wondering, how come when the tsunami is, is purple and there's a glass after it? I didn't understand what happened. I was young. <laughs> mm, uh, why would she stay with such a guy I don't know apparently he put it to her good at least that's what he told me <laughs> <laughs> he said whatever I'm with that bitch my meat don't loaf and I laughed like I got the joke but I didn't <laughs> I'm like mother this is one on darky what is he doing here <laughs> uh, fucking <laughs> That's not Jimmy. That's Ted. Oh, uh, well, whoever it is. You put a nickel up right by the edge of the table, right. and if it falls off, there's an earthquake coming. <laughs> it's, that's Theodore. I don't think there's any scientific fact. Though. There certainly is. Have you ever seen a nickel stand up through an earthquake? I rest my case. Oh. I'll sue you for defamation. <laughs> <laughs> better look out, then. <laughs> certainly better. Help us an earthquake! Get over here. Breathe through this, Teddy. What? I don't understand the breathing. I didn't oh. either, but I did it. For a tsunami, probably. I didn't know, but I just did what I was told. <laughs> it was very confusing. My head kept hitting the back of the table. He was wearing slacks. Slacks? Yes. They had meatloaf sauce on them. <laughs> he loved Mother's Meatloaf. <laughs> Beverly Sheckler was known for her meatloaf. <laughs> Beverly Sheckler. Up and down the block, they would rave about Mother's meatloaf. Except her African American friend, he said it tasted like shit, and he threw it at her. He said, "Bitch, the motherfucking meatloaf cold." And she had to get stitches. She had to get stitches. She had to go to the hospital. <laughs> uh, I thought she was injured in the earthquake. I dragged her by her bosom under the table with me. I grabbed her breasts and I pulled her to safety. And then I got meatloaf and ate it, but it had fur on it from the floor. <laughs> Bam burgers. <laughs> An awful She story. would talk about Bam burgers a lot. She would say, well, today on Socks we had, and she would describe whatever incident had occurred. Not the most exciting stuff. No, no, it doesn't sound Do you know right. one time a pair of socks was missing? We heard about it for a month. Oh, God. That doesn't sound exciting. It certainly doesn't. <laughs> Especially when Mother's drinking and telling you. It's 3 o'clock in the morning in my room telling me about it. Oh, she hits the bottle? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> what do the neighbors that talk about the meatloaf think about her uh, mail company that she keeps? <laughs> <laughs>
I don't think they care for her very much. <laughs> no. No. They, I think they think she slips by the river because they kept yelling, River Lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe you were hearing wrong. Yes. But... Or maybe they thought that he was taller because they thought that, that she was a bigger lover. I didn't understand what they were <laughs> oh, saying. Oh, yeah, again, you probably, something in your ear. <laughs> yes. Maybe a piece of meatloaf. <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> Or they were yelling, go figure, mother. Something like that. <laughs> go figure, mother. Fucking <laughs> dress. <laughs> yeah, Ted's got meatloaf all over the house. Looks like it was a, should be called a, a meatloaf em emporium. Emporium? <laughs> Does Ted have an emporium for Japan? I certainly don't, Gregory. Okay, just that. Ted went off on a tangent. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> hmm. Holy shit. That's called limping to the finish line. Nah, <laughs>